I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to our concept of global learning. In this video, we will discuss a very important question that is to say, geometry problems related to four congruent circles when they are arranged as shown. So many times we have to find the radius of the inscribed circle, radius of the circumscribed circles and the related problems. These are very popular questions and from examination point of view, very important also. Let us see how to solve three such questions. The very first one here is, find the radius of largest circle that can fit in the middle of four congruent tangential circles with radius r. So in this diagram, we are given four tangential circles, right, arranged in the fashion. We need to find radius of this circle which can fit in the center of these, right. How do we figure this out? You can always pause the video and answer this question. It seems to be difficult, but it's a very relatively simple question. If you observe that these tangential circles form kind of a square, right? Do you see this? So that becomes a square where each side of the square is same as the radius of the circle, right? So let me make an enlarged view of this square, right? So we are just making an enlarged view of this square. So that is our square. Let's label it, right? Let us say that this point here is A, right? And the center here is O. So in that case, this point will be A and the center here will be O. Now, in this particular square, you will notice that the length A to O is combination of two lengths. One, it is the radius. And the other part of this is the radius of the inscribed circle. Do you see that part, right? So we could label this as, let's say, point B here. Right? So, so as you can see, this portion here is same as the radius R. And on this side, all these sides are also equal, and they are all equal to the radius R of the given circle A, correct? We need to find OB in this diagram. Now that is relatively simple, right? Since we know that A to O is what? A to O square should be equal to R square plus R square, Pythagorean theorem, right? So it is 2R square. So A to O will be square root of 2 r square which can be written as r square root 2. So the total length is r square root 2. So what is o to b? o to b is o to a minus a b, right? So o to a or a to o we found this as, as equal to, let's write here, r square root 2. And a to b is r. Taking r common, we get square root 2 minus 1 within this group, brackets. Do you see that? So, so we get our result that ob, the radius of the circle which can be inscribed is equal to r times square root of 2 minus 1, correct? So we get the answer, right? So we get OB inscribed, so let's say r inscribed i is radius of the circle times square root 2 minus 1. Is that clear to you? So that becomes easy way of finding this out. Now let's look into a related question where we will not talk about 
the outside circle, the circumscribing circle, right? So, now we have the second question here, which says, find the radius of the smallest circle which can circumscribe four congruent tangential circles of radius r. So now we are interested in finding the big radius r. Do you see that from here? That is the question now, correct? So let's label as we did earlier. So we'll call this point center point as O, right? This center as A, just as we did earlier. This point here, we'll take this point as C. Okay, let's call this point same as B, as we did earlier. We are interested in finding OC. So this length OC is the radius of circumscribing circle. Is that clear to you? How are we going to figure this out? Right. Okay. Now, to do this, we'll follow the same concept as we did earlier. Right? So, we'll just extend it. What we found is, if I include this, right, that is a square for us, correct? So, I'm again drawing this diagram for our convenience, right? So what we have here is something like this, our square, as we had drawn earlier. And then this is the diagonal, which is kind of extended. This time, that is the center O, right? The point B, the point A, and the point C, this outside point. All these sides are equal to the radius of the inside four congruent circles. And we know A to B is also R. Correct? So what we found earlier that O to A is equal to O to A is equal to R times square root 2. This is the diagonal of a square, right? Diagonal of a square. Each side being R. Now, what do you think is this A to C? Now, A to C is also R because it's the radius of the circle. Right? We know A to C is, is R. So, O to C should be OA plus AC and that clearly is R square root 2 plus R. So now OC is R within bracket square root 2 plus 1. Very similar result. Earlier we had minus 1. Now you have square root 2 plus 1. So we can say that the circumscribing radius r is equal to the radius times square root 2 plus 1. Does it make sense to you? Easy to remember also. So you can use these formulas directly and see how easy it is to perform the calculations. Correct? Now these strategies can help you find the area outside, inside and all those combinations also. So I hope this concept is clear. Now let's take another example based on the similar situation. The third question here is, find the area of the larger square which can fit in the middle of four congruent tangential circles of radius r. Right. So you can actually pause the video and answer this question. Okay, let's try to figure it out. So let's go get back to our calculations which we did in the very first example. Now, as we did earlier, we can form this as our square, right? So I'll make a bigger drawing. 
for this situation. Right, so that is our bigger drawing. Now in this situation, what do we observe is that we do have a square which is kind of like this. You see that. So so this is this is the part which I'm trying to show in this form, right? So that is the square which I am trying to show here. So if you look at it, this point here is the center O, that is our point B, this is A, right? And B is uh, somewhere, uh, is, is this tangential point, correct? Yes. Now, all these sides are equal to R, just as we did, right? Now in this case, the distance O to B is half of the side right so so this side of the square is let me say this square is pqrs so in this situation as you can see that pq is equal to twice o to b correct because these two sides are equal right so it is same distance away on both the sides. Does it make sense to you? Right? And what is OB? As we saw in the very first part, O to B is square root 2R minus R, right? This is R. O to B is square root 2R minus R. Right? And therefore, P to Q will be two times this, right? So it will be two times square root two. Let me write minus one and R outside. Is that clear to you, right? And so we need to find what? Area of the largest square. Area of a square is side square, right? So area of inscribed square will be how much is pq square right so we can square this up so we get 2 square root 2 minus 1 whole square times r square does it make sense to you right oh, when you multiply by 2 this also gets multiplied by 2 right so both get multiplied by 2, right? That is PQ twice. So that is how you can actually get your result. Sometimes you can also write this as, uh, uh, well, you can do this calculation, right? You can take 2 square common, which is 4, outside. And here we get square root 2 minus 1 whole square times R square. So once you know the value of R, you can always calculate this out. So let's figure this. So we have 2 square root 2, right, minus 2. And we are going to square this. So which is in decibels, 0 0.686, right? So, in general, this will be 0 0.686 R square. So, let's uh, redo this, right? So, we have uh, 4 within brackets, square root 2, minus 1. We'll square this one which is in decimals 0 0.686 right r square so that is how you can calculate the area of the inscribed circle so i hope it makes sense so this set of three related questions will definitely help you in solving geometry problems the real difficult ones with ease 
And if you're working on a multiple choice test paper, then these formulas, which we just figured out, will always help you to get answer very quickly. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.